Governor, what are we drinking? Whatever's legal. I think a little coffee might be good. We got a little you know, coffee. It, it's a little tougher with a mask on, though, yeah. by the way. No, you know, I gotta does. do one of it these does. things. And... But if you'd like to, I, I will imbibe. It's possible to be sociable, and it's actually one of the things that we're, we're talking more to Washingtonians about, that you can be sociable and still safe. So why do you want to be governor for four more years? The, the word on the street is you want to be the EPA director or the secretary of the interior. Uh, listen, I've had a belly full of <laughs> Washington, D.C. I'll, I'll answer that serious question seriously. We have started all this great progress and I want to see it through. You know, we have the unfinished business. So we started an apprenticeship program and I met him a, this young man a couple years ago where we had people come up and sign their apprenticeship card and it looked like signing day, like LeBron James, when they put on the hat of the company they're gonna join as an apprentice. You're never short of a sports reference. Well, that's how we live. Yeah, your opponent has uh, has, has come at you too for uh, kind of declaring you out of touch, saying that you didn't know about CHOP uh, back in June, that you hired a $165,000 a week consultant to advise you on what to do with COVID? We have had uh, specialists who have helped us design our, uh, our dashboard. So we have a dashboard. You can look at the dashboard. It shows you the public all of the uh, metrics and the demographics of this disease. And so if you go to the dashboard, this group we hired to help us build it. Governor, I'd like to ask you about uh, what's going on in Seattle. There's this uh, thing called the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone. I, I, have, not, I have not heard anything about that from any credible source. You mentioned this thing about a press conference I had that uh, I obviously knew about CHOP and I obviously knew about the disturbances on Capitol Hill, but I uh, did not want to address the issue because I had not had the, uh, the up to minute uh, data dump that I'd had that I usually do and I like to make sure I know what I'm talking about. So. I could have phrased that with more articulation. I guess once every eight years, I'm not as articulate as I should be. <laughs> I mean, should you be doing more? Uh, we should be doing what our obligation is, which is to support the cities that are responsible for the public safety. When we have requested the National Guard, we have sent the National Guard. When we have had a request for the State Patrol, we have sent the State Patrol. So we are providing the support to the cities to make these decisions. <laughs> What about the, the other criticism, the, the main attack line from the, the Culp campaign and, and Republicans over the handling of Western State Hospital, the loss of $50 million in federal funding, and then the absolute, and, and I'll be honest, absolute mess at the Employment Security Department with the amount of people who haven't been getting paychecks. Why, why not make changes at ESD? So I don't agree with your assessment, frankly. We are better than probably 40 to 45 other states on our waiting period right now. California has about a million and a half, I think. But that department got scammed. It got stolen because people snuck into line. We've now got recovered $360 million. Uh, you mentioned Western State. Look, this is a hospital. It's, it's, been, it's an ancient building. The federal government wanted some improvements, and that reform is going to succeed uh, because people need mental health now more than ever. Would you like a do-over with Bowen? I'd like them to have a do-over in some of their decision-making. What's your prediction on, on when we can get back to normal, when we can start reopening? Uh, I believe we can do this sooner rather than later. Uh, now, we can't, we're very eager for a vaccine. We've got to make sure that this is a vaccine that is safe. Well, there's been a lot of bright days in sports with the Storm winning another <laughs> title, Russell Wilson, the Seahawks doing well, the Sounders doing well. Are you ready to release the Kraken? We are going to be so joyous when the Kraken uh, beat that unnamed team in Vancouver, British Columbia. And this is going to be the great victories. Well, for all those sports teams, we can, we can raise a glass. Thanks for sharing a drink with me, Governor. And again, we spoke with Lauren Culp last week. You can find that interview by texting the word election to 206-448-4545. We are happy to send you a link to our elections page. Tonight at 7.